and yep it is here we are at the solar eclipse the last solar eclipse of 2024 is going to happen on october the 2nd in the sign of libra this is going to be that beautiful new moon portal solar eclipse meaning that it's a beautiful brand new star a whole new identity is taking place a whole new paradigm shift happening in the world and in your life and in this video i'm going to be sharing with you the five ways that you are going to be affected how you can work with this energy and actually how you can use this to manifest a whole new beginning because there's a lot of major manifestation power when it comes to this one but it's also there's a couple things that you need to be discerning about so i'll break it all down for you if you're interested keep on watching Welcome back, this is Tina Wong coming at you in the jungle of Tulum right now, Mexico. The energy that's coming through right now is so pure, it is so grounded, it is so potent. So let's talk about the solar eclipse. And by the way, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It would help me out a lot. It would help expand this message out. And I'd love to have you here. So um, go ahead and hit that. Uh, subscribe button if you want to be here so the first thing first this is going to be in the sign of libra well let's talk about solar eclipse solar eclipse we're talking about the sun which governs identity which governs strength which governs power life okay life force and what happens here is it is uh, solar eclipse okay meaning that right now there's a lot of things that are eclipsing in eclipsing out the world is rearranging Okay. So there's a certain positioning of the, uh, the planets right now, the sun right now, the earth right now. The energy of us knowing that there is a planetary alignment and reorientation for a certain opportunity, a portal to open for you to quantum leap through and receive the new version of you, receive the new download, receive the new manifestation. The fact that this solar eclipse, the last one of 2024, is in the sign of Libra. Well, Libra is that kind of um, uh, the sign of the balance, the sign of the scale, the sign of the judge, right? It's also the sign of the social butterfly. We'll get into that. But the first thing here is understanding that things must be in harmony. Things must be in balance. Well, if you watch my videos that I made on the lunar eclipse, of September, you will understand that this is a time of us really going deep doing the inner work and a lot of things are shifting from a deep soul level and the Libra energy here is knowing that whatever is happening in your inner world, you know, you've been doing the healing, you've been doing the cleansing, you've been doing the karma clearing. If you're with me, <laughs> you know, I just did that workshop. The energy of Libra is putting things into balance, put it into harmony. So if you've been doing the inner work, well, guess what? Your outer world is about to shift. Okay. This is why I emphasize in September to do the healing, do the healing, do the healing. For those of you who have the heal bundle, who bought the heal bundle, if you haven't completed yet, go and do the work because it's going to clear out a lot of the junk, a lot of the gunk, a lot of the space that now you are ready to receive in this energy. Things wants to be in balance, okay? So do you want it to be tiptoe in, okay, I'm gonna focus on my past and then there's only a little bit of room for the future, goodness to come in, or do you want to really clear out the past and really coming from the present moment so then the manifestation can also come through from the present moment which leads us to point number two the point number two of how this solar eclipse can really affect you and how you can you know work with it is this energy of going out uh, you don't have to actually go out if you want to go out you can't <laughs> but uh, reaching out and being open for new network and new connections well, new moon, new beginning, solar eclipse, something is coming in, okay? And of course, things are coming out, but let's talk about that later. Things are coming in, Libra, social, networking, uh, lots of friends, okay? Uh, flirty, 
okay, into romance. So a lot of these things can be very forefront right now. So if you're looking for romance, if you're looking for new opportunities, opening yourself up to new helpful people, uh, helpful networks in your life, this is going to be one that I want you to uh, take advantage of. So what does that mean? Around these days, I mean, the effects of the clips can last up to like half a year, honestly, but around this time, it's gonna be the most potent. So around this time, really focus on how can you put yourself out there, right? Letting your intentions to be known. So what I mean by that is, if you're ready for a new, let's say you want some investment on your business, if you just launch a business and you want some um, attention, exposure, you know, reach, communicate that out because you never know who's listening right you can for example if you're a creator um, you can be like hey I am launching this new thing this new website are you interested let me know if you love it here share it right ask people to share yourself ask people to um, help you with the network or you know if you're someone who wants investment right now for your business hey I am doing this thing I would love to to have more investors, I would love to have this X money uh, funding. You know, just let your intentions be known. And if you're looking for love and r r romance, let it out. You know, let it out. <laughs> yeah, let it out. Uh, let your intentions out. Let it be known so the right person can reach you, or you know, the matchmaker can do his or her magic. Okay, so this is a very good time for utilizing your social network, um, being open for how the divine orchestrations to come through because what I always say is that manifestation happens through vessels. Okay, you don't just close your eyes open, it comes through. It needs to happen through some kind of vessel, some kind of body, some kind of thing, person, event. Okay, so maybe an invitation, maybe a person or whatever, it needs to happen through something. Okay, someone. So when you let that out and you allow the people in the network, okay, to do its magic, you will be receiving your manifestation. Yay! Grab a yay! Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's talk about number three. The way number three how this solar eclipse can really affect you and how you can utilize it for your grand manifestation is that this is going to be the time for you to look at your well-being and look at when things are a little bit unbalanced in your life because remember i mentioned that libra is that sign of the, the scale things want to be put in balance so this is a good time to understand where is it that maybe you've been too much in hermit mode and maybe you need some social interactions or maybe you've been like out about doing 10 million things but you haven't made time for your inner healing inner work um, manifestation work okay or energe energetic realignment whatever it is you want to really think about where where is the scale not being balanced in your life are you a people pleaser are you an overgiver are you just thinking about your mom your dad your brother your sister your friends your dogs your cats your friends cats and dogs and plants or are you ready to you know saying okay you know i feel like i've been neglecting my health i've been neglecting my diet i've been neglecting my exercise regime i've been neglecting my life okay and if you know only you know you have to be honest with yourself Okay. And if you know that you've been a little bit kind of, you know, unbalanced, don't be afraid to take matter into your own hand. Why? Because new moon, new beginning. Perfect time, honey, to be uh, utilizing, uh, implementing new habits, new opportunity to be implementing, let's say, new routines. Okay. So if you want to start waking up at 6 a.m., or if you want to start going to bed early, if you want to start a new self-care, self-love, whatever thing, this is going to be a good time to begin that. But I want you to think of it like solar eclipse has power, okay? So whatever it is that you are deciding and setting the intention is going to be huge, which leads us to point number four, and then I'm going to tell you something really interesting about point number five. So point number four here, how you affect and how you can utilize this for your manifestation is definitely set an intention. Okay, and you hear me talk about this new moon, new intention, new moon seeding, okay, full moon receiving. So this solar eclipse, new moon, you don't see anything in the in the sky, okay? So what happens here is that there is a blank canvas for your manifestation, but you need to know that you are the former, okay? You are the former who has the seed, who is going to plant the seed. What is the seed? 
Okay, I want you to be clear about it, it because clarity is power. Okay, comment down below. Clarity is power. Write it down, say it out loud, put it on a sticky note, whatever you need to do. And I want you to really unapologetically this one. Okay, this so the clips unapologetically put your intention out there remember what i told you put your intention out there put your declaration out there and i want to challenge you okay so if you're here if you're watching this at this point comment below your intention for what this new phase of your life is going to be about okay i don't want you to be shy about it i don't want you to feel self-conscious about it and you know at the end of the day you know maybe you don't even know most of the people on the internet just put it out there okay just put out there your intention put out there your manifestation and being confident with it because the solar eclipse energy is about the, the confidence energy the portal is going to be open i'll tell you that okay and it's going to be open before three days after three days sometimes it's even a bit longer honestly i would say a week before a week after it's a very potent time okay but putting your energy out there, putting your intention out there and being very like confident and apologetic and apologetic about it is going to bring forth this um, safety, this groundedness for your energies to land. OK, we don't want to be like, uh, I think it would be nice if I like win the lottery. Well, it would be nice to have a partner, I guess, you know, like, no, you don't want to be iffy about it. You want to be like. My intention is to be in a loving, committed, devoted, wonderful relationship that is healthy, <laughs> that is, you know, whatever your conditions are. Don't be afraid of setting the standards and setting the, the, uh, all the things that is matter to you, okay? The terms and conditions, okay? I want you to write it down, comment down below. This is my challenge for you. Write it out also in your notebook, say it out loud, share it to somebody, okay? Just putting it out there or share it to the universe. Very important, let it out, let go of the self-consciousness, make it a potent one. And that leads us to the, very important way the fifth way on how this solar eclipse affects you and how you can work with this for your manifestation is when you're tuning in to the energy of the solar eclipse in libra october 2nd i want you to also think about we are entering a new phase of our life like you know we just had the fall um, equinox okay for those of you in northern hemisphere the season has turned has just turned and sometimes things have to die away and things have to fall away and you know it can take a while for the, all the remnants of it to fade away so whatever it is that you have started in um September, knowing that October, you're going to see more things being eclipsed out, more people will be eclipsed out and you know, vice versa, people can be falling in, okay, uh, things can be ex eclipsing in as well. So I wanted to really hold space, hold space for yourself to go through the emotional clearing, okay, the, the healing, the crying, the letting go, the grieving process and sometimes it's, it's painful okay? I'm giving you a heads up and why this is really important is that uh, sometimes people think that oh my god I'm doing I'm going through a crazy phase I'm dealing with this breakup right now and I'm just like my life is a mess but your life is not a mess you understand you set an intention that you want the true love you set intention that you want an aligned happy life you wanted peace you set those intentions okay in point number four so what happens now is that the unfolding has to take place whether it's the universe God source your higher self sweeping the untrue things out or sweeping the, the the true things in whatever it might be there's going to be some sweeping swiping okay maybe some of you guys are doing the swiping okay uh process okay there's some some that's gonna happen so just be just be reminded that it's all part of the plan the crying the breaking down the ego death the um self-questioning all of that is part of the plan for you to realize who the F you are, what the F you really want, what the F you get to have, what the F you deserve in this life, okay? So remember that. So this is the time where you want to hold yourself, okay? And if, you're, if you feel like, okay, you know what? I need um, <laughs> help here, okay? Then get help, okay? Um, you know, there's a lot of wonderful people in the, on the internet you can follow me okay on my instagram i go live i post stuff like just stay connected just stay grounded um and this is going to be the time where you're reminded this is not random my world the events around me is not random i am orchestrating it the divine the higher me is also 
orchestrating this for my highest good and what is so important for your well-being your sanity and your manifestation is that the more you think that your world is like some uh, concrete thing and the more you will think of yourself as some kind of victim oh they broke up with me they cheated on me oh this happened they laid me off no 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 you your higher self is orchestrating all of this so that you can get to where you say to the universe where you want to be so what i want you to do stay strong stay grounded keep reminding yourself of that don't get your mind drifted comment down below declare what is your intention put it into words put it out in the universe i'm gonna go through each and every one of them i'm gonna witness you i'm gonna like i'm gonna heart i'm gonna be there for you so that you know that there's at least someone you know me <laughs> witnessing you in all of this okay and opening it up to more people more forces more power witnessing you in all this and orchestrating the things the people the places the thing that needs to happen for you to receive your manifestation like this video if you got anything from this please do share to someone who needs to hear it and remember when you subscribe to the channel it helps the channel grow it helps my message get out there and it also makes me very happy to know that you want to be a part of this community so hit that subscribe button and the bell and i will see you on my next one i love you so much and i'll talk to you soon